Hello everyone, welcome to today's Novage webinar, New Sensations with Artlantis 2019. Artlantis 2019, the latest version of Absence standalone rendering application, allows you to cover all presentation modes from still images to animations. Discover the key new features of this version in today's presentation. Easy to use thanks to an intuitive user interface Artlantis 2019 elevates your architectural renderings to new heights. And here's today's webinar presenter. Ildiko Sabo is an architect by training and has been a member of the Advent team since 2001. She has followed the evolution of software technologies and welcomed new solutions like Twinmotion. Over the years, she has followed the evolution of Artlantis Atlantis closely and has acquired vast experience in uh, architecture rendering. So she is the right person uh, also to ask questions to today. Let me tell you a little bit about Novage. Novage is changing the way designers purchase 3D software, offering more choices, more freedom, best advice, faster service, and no headaches. Check us out at novage.com. And you can also find us all over the social media, your favorite ones like Facebook, Instagram, you name it. Uh, I also want to remind you that today's webinar will be recorded and uh, later today post on Vimeo and YouTube, just search for Novage. Now I'm going to change screen and let okay. Yeldiko do all the talking and the presenting. Take it away, Yeldiko. Okay, very well. So I'm ready to start and uh, ready to show you um, some um, slides for the beginning. But first of all, I would like to introduce you to the signature, uh, not the signature building, but the building I'm using for the demonstration purposes in Atlantis. So uh, it's a family house somewhere in France. Uh, its name is uh, Maison Curti. And there is an architect, um, an architect office, Archie Pont, and the builder is Lignatech. So thanks to them, uh, we could uh, have this uh, excellent uh, model because the building was already built. As you can see, these are photos and the building has a particularity is that uh, is a wooden house, is a complete wooden structure. Um, with a great terrace. So let me switch to Atlantis actually and show you the model. Here it is the model and uh, if I turn a little bit around uh, you will see how great landscape uh, uh, surrounds this uh, building. So this great magnificent terrace explore this landscape, this environment, this view for um, the owners it's really nice to sit on this terrace and admire it so this is the building and now let's see what Atlantis 2019 can do for us so first of all uh, the first thing that Atlantis 2019 provides us is that it groups the previous uh, product lines so there is no more uh, to application composing it, but there is one single Atlantis, and we can uh, see this uh, right in this little list. We can roll down about the presentation uh, types we can do with Atlantis, because here we will find all the presentation modes the previous versions could do separately. Now Atlantis 2019 merges, merges them together. So perspective images, parallel views, site insertion, got a complete uh, independent inspector. I will introduce it to you. Panoramas, VR objects, and animations are all available in this version. So whenever a new version is uh, has to be developed developer always uh, choose a core subject for that particular version and this time uh, this uh, topic was about the uh, catalog about the library parts so um, the library parts of uh, atlantis 2019 
were uh, extended in number, first of all. So actually, I'm browsing the standard library of Atlantis 2019 just to show you how many items can be found for the different categories and subcategories. So uh, altogether, for example, when we speak about shaders, uh, we have uh, about uh, 2,000 shaders, additional shaders, compared to what we previously had. So I made some slides some to compare uh, the content of the previous uh, Atlantis version and this version. So let me highlight it to you just to show you uh, to feel the um, difference in quantity. So now we are speaking absolutely in terms of quantity, which uh, was increased with about 40% compared to what we previously have in Atlantis. So for example, here are some uh, shaders featuring natural surfaces and the, the difference is obvious. So they're compared to only a few. There are much more in this uh, new standard uh, library. And it also features, uh, this is about natural surfaces, so uh, here is uh, the right place to store the brand new uh, 3D grass uh, shaders, the so much anticipated 3D grass shaders, so I will uh, also highlight and speak about it later on. Then uh, cars, vehicles compared to one single car now we have much more and different type high quality uh, cars there is an old timer there is a bicycle so variation of vehicles are accessible right uh, from the beginning in this Atlantis or plants why not um, so each category provides additional items uh, 37 items were added for only for the vegetation, characters, and the other objects. So altogether, this enhancement in number is very, very considerable. Then, after we highlighted the increase in number, we should also speak about the quality of these objects, because uh, this was also an important uh, topic in this uh, new version. So this rendering, what you can see on the screen, was done uh, with the plants coming from the new Atlantis catalog. So the re um, considered the re uh, this developed catalog of Atlantis 2019. So let me go back to Atlantis and uh, check out a little bit uh, what these, how these uh, shaders uh, can uh, help us to create nice realistic renderings. Here is a scene about the terrace and uh, let me uh, say that I would like to map the terrace with some shaders, some ties. So I open the shader inspector uh, just to highlight that there is no difference in terms of settings. So the settings are completely identical, nothing was changed, only the shaders were reworked to make them high quality and nice shaders, uh, which uh, provide uh, and add a lot of realism to our scenes. Uh, all those shaders which have a diffuse map, a texture map, for the diffuse uh, were a subject of this uh, development. Those shaders uh, were not uh, reviewed, which were composed only of colors. So these uh, are about the basic shader, the different um, shaders uh, featuring the aluminum or steel or glass materials. These are the so-called procedure shaders composed only of colors. So um, instead of them, the rest of the shaders having the texture maps at their composition, in their composition, were um, enhanced and redeveloped. So this is about the shaders. And now let me continue. 
with uh, some trees to add uh, to my scene some trees so i'm just uh, browsing a little bit my uh, catalog and uh, about plants let me pick uh, some plants add them here and there or uh, some objects like characters which are high quality nice uh, characters coming from the XYZ library. So once again, if I uh, open the object inspector, the settings for these objects are identical. So not the settings were uh, changed, but the items itself. So let me uh, change a little bit the view to get closer to this lady. To show you the way she looks in a final rendering so it's a very realistic uh, high quality character freshly added to this uh, standard library of atlantis and uh, let me continue uh, let me continue by uh, showing you a tool which is about distributing objects and still a tool around uh, objects around the library parts so it's also part of this uh, main topic uh, thing and let me open the 2d window so whenever i'm reorganizing my screen i'm sliding a bit the preview and uh, from my uh, catalog i will choose some conifers here they are make the selection right in the preview because uh, this tool is about distributing items uh, only by clicking into the 2D window. So um, randomly from the selected uh, items, uh, Atlantis will add one of them to the uh, view. So for to do that, I need to open the populate tool and when it's opened, it rolls down a little list of different additional items. So I can decide the way I would like to distribute these items. I'm okay. Yes, the layers should be reorganized. Let me uncheck and choose the layer on which I would like to set these items. And then I'm ready to go. So I'm just clicking here and there. And randomly from this selection will be added at each click one of the objects one object at one click because I chose this icon the fingertip I can choose another one the spline so just imagine around uh, a long uh, walkway that uh, is curved and uh, has a particular path you can draw your own uh, path and distribute street lamps, benches to sit on it, or trees, whatever you wish. We can also uh, design areas where we would like to distribute these items. And when it's about an area, that can be edited, that can be um, changed its position, changed its size, uh, rotated, uh, and already inside of this oval, uh, Atlantis suggests me uh, some number of items that I can uh, add more. And if uh, the distribution of these items uh, doesn't suit me, I can uh, reorganize them with the dice and then click OK, fine. And in the designated area, randomly some items were added from the select selection um, directly to the scene. So this is the distribute tool. And now it's time to speak about the 3D grass. So let me highlight the catalog featuring natural surfaces. And here are the 3D grass, so six shaders, which can be mapped on any type of surfaces. And uh, in my slides, you can see the six different uh, grass type, the way they behave in a final rendering. The leaves are different uh, length, the coloring, 
So it's a very specific, uh, each type of grass features a separate uh, way uh, to, to have a lawn. And there are only two sliders, two settings, whenever we uh, add them to our scenes, is to define the length of the leaves and to define a kind of fall off, starting from which direction the calculation of the 3D effect comes, uh, starts to be less important. I show you renderings. I show you renderings because uh, this uh, 3D grass in the preview, so this is another example, and so I have some examples with the 3D grass. So uh, whenever I add it to my preview window, we won't be able to see it, to preview it. It will be only a color applied on a surface. And this is because uh, to spare um, energy power for the preview to make it faster in the refreshment. So whenever you are doing uh, applying 3D grass, I encourage you to use the zone render tool if you would like to see the effect, how this grass will look like in your final rendering. Just uh, now this example shows very nicely the grass, how it can accept, uh, for example, shadows coming from the neighboring trees, um, from this chair, and um, the different uh, 3D grass types, which uh, were mixed in this uh, scene. Or well, here is uh, my third uh, last um, example with the 3D grass. So at the border of this pool, the real 3D effect of the grass uh, can be nicely seen. Or you can note uh, the leg of the chair, how it disappears partially is masked by the, the lawn. So it looks very realistic, really. This whole garden area was furnished with plants coming from the new catalog. So uh, these lime trees, which previously were a bit uh, whitish and uh, not nice, now uh, just simple drag and drop and they will behave in a, a lifelike manner. So uh, they will uh, really enhance our renderings. With this, I close the big chapter around uh, the catalog, around the quantity. Uh, I, I spoke about the quantity, so 40% increase of the library parts in number and enhancement in terms of quality. So I invite you to download the demonstration version of Atlantis 2019, and you will have access to all these library parts right away. You can try it out with your own scenes to see how they will uh, help you in your uh, projects. Now, let me continue for to the next uh, topic, which is about the tool, about the camera setting that already exists in Atlantis, but also was reverbed and enhanced. And this is the exposure, the so-called automatic adjustment of the camera in Atlantis. This is a scene calculated in Atlantis 7. So uh, what uh, was the purpose uh, of developers is uh, to uh, increase the contrast in the image and to take back this overall color blading that dims the full uh, rendering. So let me switch to the next rendering calculated in uh, Atlantis 2019. And you already can notice that the diffuse color of each surface is more visible. It's uh, put in evidence. However, there is a color bleeding, but uh, it won't dim the, the whole rendering itself. So let me switch back to the previous um, uh, rendering. And now we know what to uh, take, uh, what to pay attention at and uh, switching to um, version 2019 we notice a higher contrast of the image so it's a higher quality nicer image that keeps the real 
uh, diffuse, so it's, it's closer to what we sense in reality. Good. And then the next topic, I will go back to Atlantis and switch to the new inspector about uh, insertions. This is the so-called site insertion tool. So once again, site insertion. Site insertion is part of Atlantis uh, for uh, several versions now, but it was always reworked a little bit. It was always, uh, because it's a very important subject, it's very architectural-like. Because uh, you are very anxious to design the building, to make it the new building, I mean, the model, to make it accurate, to make it credible, to make it nice, and so on and so on. But uh, the client always will ask how this building will look in its future site. So this is the purpose of the site insertion tool, that with the help of a background photo of the existing uh, site, to simulate it in a way uh, how it will be in the future. So this is this um, a new consideration also about to make it more accessible, this tool, and make it easier to use. And having an independent inspector allows us to have build in Atlantis automatism for this tool to uh, spare clicks for you and to help you follow um, accurate uh, logic, let's say, to make the insertion correctly. So let's review this uh, inspector. First of all, we know that we can customize uh, the different insertions we are creating based on the lighting. We can uh, set active, visible, or hide some layers that are storing the objects activate the infinite ground. So all this is possible, uh, like in the previous uh, presentation, but so far it's so good. The novelty here Hi, Yildiko, your sound is off. Um, we don't hear you anymore. Maybe you can still don't hear you. Hmm. Maybe you can plug again your uh, microphone. You're back, I think. I heard the sound. No, still nothing. Hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, just give us a couple of minutes to figure this. Um, to figure this out. I still don't hear you. Um, maybe, maybe you could try and do a sound test. Uh -huh. Yes, you're back. Great. It's all good. I'm back. Okay, you're back. I'm really sorry. Yeah. No problem. I, I... Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Um, from which uh, point? Uh, we ju I just interrupt. I just uh, yes. I just when when you heard me when I stopped, it was like maybe ten seconds. Okay, perfect. Really so not too much then. I continue. So um, let's review the site insertion tool then and start with the first active icon. Um, so we have to start with that. There is no other active icon. So this is the idea behind to help us to follow the logic uh, to do properly the site insertion. So this is about the background image and then I browse my hard drive, look for a background image and let's imagine that uh, this uh, photo was taken on the site where this building will uh, replace the ugly old building but which is still there, it wasn't demolished yet. So I took a shot with any mobile device or camera, whatever, and this is what I will apply. I need the full size of this photo. 
because the preview will be automatically stretched to the proportions of this image and it will be applied to the final rendering size as well. So this um, um, dialogue allows me to change, for example, the brightness of this background image. And if I have enough uh, metadata in my photo, I can create a haliodone that will be added in the, to the list and cast light on my model from the right direction, direction uh, when the sun, uh, when I took the photo. So the same um, position will be uh, taken over. My possibilities are either to continue next, either cancel. So let me continue next. And then I have a kind of net to set the XYZ coordinate system, in fact, to set the a kind of bounding box to my uh, building. So an easy setting to this uh, coordinate system over the preview. And when I'm ready, I continue next. That opens automatically the 2D window, here it is, uh, where I have uh, retrieved the same coordinate system and I have to position it in the same way it was positioned already in the preview window. I have to check the position in all uh, views because somewhere, sometimes the origin may be placed uh, much lower than the walkway. So here it is. And then I have a second uh, dot to add and to point is the distance that I can retrieve in the preview and over the 2D window as well. So I finished uh, what the dialogue is about and I continue next and automatically the calibration of the camera happens. If I want to fine tune I can simply um, hide the model. I um, refine some uh, additional um, perspective lines to fine tune the position of the axis or to fine tune the position. And when all is fine, I click OK and my site insertion was completed. Maybe not really because uh, I need a foreground image and looking in the inspector, I noticed that all the icons turn active now, even the last one about the foreground. So let me add a foreground image, which was prepared from the same background by applying an alpha channel to it. So now some uh, cars will um, be highlighted in the front, as well as a street lamp can appear from the same um, image and I click OK. With the help of this icon, I can go back to any uh, um, step or if I want to change anything. So this is the way to do a site insertion with the new um, inspector. I consider a very easy to use tool from now on that only uh, through graphical uh, settings help you to retrieve the position, the real position uh, of the future of the building in its future site. So with this, I finished the presentation in Atlantis. <laughs> Let me switch to my slides just to show you the signature building of uh, our Atlantis 2019. Uh, it is a building uh, that is uh, under construction, actually, in uh, Strasbourg, France, and it was uh, designed by Cause Architects. And it also has a particularity that is a complete wooden house. So this is a photo, a drone photo taken by um, the, of the house um, while it is uh, built. 
So um, a part of the floor slab and uh, elevator cases, all the rest is a uh, complete wooden structure. Using this uh, drone photo, uh, we made a site insertion. So the model that was uh, prepared in Atlantis with the help of the new site insertion tool um, was inserted in this photo. So this is the way this building will look like finally when it will be completed. And this is my, my last uh, rendering. I would like to show you about this uh, great uh, building. And keeping this uh, image on my screen, I thank you so far my, uh, for your attention and give back the speech to Barbara. Maybe you have questions. No questions so far. I love that you bring always great uh, projects uh, to demo uh, Atlantis. Mm -hmm. that's, that's incredible. I could have never said it was wood. And, uh, mm -hmm. and thank you for really bringing amazing visuals and, uh, and to know that they're real projects. It's, it's unbelievable. Great. We're still waiting a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, ask away. You know, Eldiko is the person to ask to. So um, while we wait for that, I hate to uh, switch this image because it's really stunning. And all some of the renderings you show, some of the still images were unbelievable. They look so real. So I hate to do this to you, but um, I'm going to switch. I'm going to thank you for attending today's webinar. And most importantly, I want to show you the page uh, on noveg.com where you can find our Atlantis 2019. Check it out. There's a, a free trial you can download. So um, you can test it and then I'm sure you are not going to want to return it and you'll be hooked. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. You can always find latest news and um, limited time promotions on our social media. We're everywhere. And uh, I've been recording this session so you can watch it again on Vimeo and on YouTube. Just search for Noveg. Thank you so much for joining us today, Eldico. Always a great pleasure. Have a great oh, day. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. My pleasure. Goodbye.